guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again, consistent. So today's video is gonna be a summer no, no, not no sweat, sweat proof makeup look. I did this look in Vegas. I was there the last five days and I posted a picture on my Instagram. And so I decided to film this for you guys. That's what this look was inspired by. I wore, it was 118 degrees when I got there and it pretty much stayed in the hundreds to 90s the whole time I was there, so. This makeup isn't moving. Vegas does have dry heat, so I can't tell you too much about humidity, but it was hot. So this lasts all day and all night. I normally wouldn't do a bold lip like this, but I did it in the picture I had and I thought it looked nice. So decided to do it in the video for you guys and it's summertime and I don't ever do color, so. I don't ever do color, so um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, and if you want to see this, just keep watching. Baby, while we're young, I think we should do something crazy. So I'm starting off with a bare face, no eyebrows. I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face with a gel moisturizer. Regular moisturizers have wax in them, so they tend to get you more oily if you already are. And moisturizing is super important, especially if you have oily skin. Next, to make sure my makeup stays, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild primer. I actually really like this primer. It actually works well. Then I'm going to cover up my dark circles. You can sip, skip this step if you don't have dark circles, but I'm going to use this concealer by Sephora in the color Peach. For my brows, I'm using my Benefit Cabrow and my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I always try to do my brows on camera, but it never works out. So basically, all I do is outline with the gel product, and then I lightly fill in with my brow pencil. So I did my brows off camera, concealing them, and then I'm blending in the product I let sit there for my dark circles. Now for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I'm going to apply the Infallible in the middle of my face and then the Wet n Wild on the outer. I'm using a brush to blend it in. I realized when I used the brush to blend it in and then used a beauty blender after, the makeup stayed longer in my T-zone and it didn't crease and it looked a lot more airbrushed than just using just a beauty blender because normally you see in my other videos I use just a beauty blender so I like this and the makeup stayed longer so for concealer I wanted something that still highlighted and concealed my dark circles because they're still kind of peeking through so I'm using just a little bit of this NYX concealer because a little goes a long way and this is definitely a full coverage concealer and then I'm gonna contour using cream because this is going to make sure our contour stays longer when you cream and then you put powder over it to set it. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to blend it out using a brush and my beauty blender and I'm just going to alternate between the two. Now to set the highlighted areas, I'm going to use the Airspun powder, loose powder, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to apply that to slowly, slightly bake, I'm not going to leave it on too long. Then I'm going to go in with this Chocolate Soleil Too Faced bronzer that I got years ago in a Christmas package and I'm going to use that to set all the contoured areas and contour my nose. Do add a little contour to my eyes just to, I guess, define them a little bit and then I'm going to use my little small brush by Real Techniques to blend everything together. I also like to use the powder puff it comes with just to set everything. Now I'm going to set my makeup using the NYX Dewy Setting Spray and then I'm going to go in with my favorite bronzer. This is MAC Give Me Sun and then I'm using this Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I couldn't remember you guys. I'm going to use this. I'm applying a lot of highlight today just because I want an extra glow. This is a summer look and you want to be glowing within. So I'm going to apply this one first then I'm going with my Anastasia Nicole palette and I'm going to use the color Glow Getter and I'm just going to apply that over the Laura Geller highlight. Lashes, I'm using the Salon Perfect 110. These are from Walmart. And I applied my lashes off camera. If you guys are having a hard time applying lashes, I do have a video on how to apply lashes on my channel. I'll post it somewhere here. 
And yeah, so I'm just applying mascara and blending my lashes together. My lips, I'm applying some chapstick. This is from Sephora. Then this is what I would normally do, but since it's summertime, I'm going to go in with a red lip. I'm using this darker red, this is our Jordana lip pencil, and I'll put the color down below just to outline my lips and create an ombre effect. Next, I'm going in with this Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's not a lip stain, so it actually sits really nice on your lips. It doesn't feel too drying. After, I'm going to use the pencil just to blend it all away and make it look nice and blended. 